my beautiful friends I have come across a couple of articles that are interesting to me actually and it's about blood types and personality traits so especially about blood types and what kind of profession you are supposedly best suited for according to your blood type now of course what they did they left out the arch factor that's where i come in so i will give you later my take on what jobs are best suited for arch negative people blood group o they say by the way the source is unknown i am linking to this pakistani blogger who uh, published it but he said in the beginning he's not sure where he got it from or what the source is which probably means I don't want to link to that person but I will link to him so suitable profession blood type all now remember this may not be my opinion accounting banking politics and business well that sounds about right all people are very uh, to the point no nonsense no just to the point, very to the point, and very um, intuition driven. So accounting, it's with numbers, so it's banking, politics is, yeah, the, uh, you, you cannot really see through all negatives, unless you're also all negative. You know, that's why a lot of presidents, that's why, actually that's why the royal family in England is all negative, right? Business, yes. I agree. Unsuitable profession, writer, artist, travel agent, and tailor. I can see that because what comes with this personality trait of being intuitive, people with blood type O negative are not willing to compromise too much because once they know, and it's not something about, it has nothing to do with narcissism, it's often misread as narcissism, but in reality what it is, it's just this I know what to do. I know how to solve this. And then people come in with, well, let me, I want my opinion to be heard. And they're like, no, fuck off. I don't care. I already know. You know what I mean? And I also believe all negatives are more likely to um, search for the right solution. You know what I mean? I think that's why being a writer I'm pretty sure blood type A will be the most suited for that. But they, when you're a writer, I'm not good at that either. It is too flowery. It is too much about stretching things, right? When I read a book, I always think 20% of this I need to know. And 80% is just an insult that I have to get through that. I don't like reading. I like reading data. I like mathematics, I like physics, I like things that are factual. And then, if needed, additional ideas. But not to the point where you spend all your time writing about ideas. Put them into action. Show me what's up. Don't do too much wording. So I can understand that some, that all negatives being highly intuitive, writing may not be... Uh, the best thing. I also noticed that a lot of O negatives, they come to me and tell me about certain things and give me uh, information, advice. But then I, sometimes I say, you don't want to have your own channel. You don't want to write. No, no, no. I don't want to write about this. This is just for you. And they're very fast. Bam, bam, bam. They send it. They see it. They send it. And I like it. And that's the teamwork of life, right? So that's why I'm always saying when it comes to team building, when some people say, of course, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're getting into this. And this Japanese model is so racist and blood types and personality. What are you talking about? Everybody can apply for any job. No, this is about predispositions. And I agree you should never discriminate against somebody of a certain blood type. But you can also look at it from a positive angle and say, wow, this guy is blood type O, so let's see, or negative, let's see uh, what his ideas are in a political campaign. Let's see how he knows how to um, control the crowd and 
build a community and a fan base. You know what I'm saying? So how can you really differentiate between saying you're suited because of this and you're not suited because of that? It's really, you know, these are, again, predispositions that I'm always talking about. I know plenty of blood type A people that do not fit into the general blood type A personality trait. Um, how do you say? You know what, what, what it's support. They don't fit. They don't fit. They just don't fit. And it has to do sometimes, you know, when, let's say, uh, somebody has been adopted by a family that has blood groups that are not compatible. A blood type A being adopted by a B positive, a blood type A negative adopted by a B positive father, for example, the male, same, the same sex parent is the role model that the boy models himself after. Also, I say it many times before, when it comes to blood type dating, it sounds weird, but many times people tend to actually choose a partner having the same blood type as the opposite sex parent. Let's move on. Artist, travel agent, and tailor. Again, this is from Pakistan, so tailoring, tailoring is probably a thing still there. Travel agent, yeah, they don't have the patience, I think. They don't have, O's don't have the patience, but O negatives do not have the patience to deal with bullshit. And other blood groups are good at that. They're good at that. And artist, yeah, I guess when you're so to the point, I always say it that uh, people who are A negative, for example, have a ability to step back, but then express themselves in other ways. An O person is more likely to attack an issue right away. So there is not the space for extra emotions to build another career on. Now let's move on to group I, blood type A. Uh, in my next video.